Welcome to yet another installment of Titan Quest with me, Voldex the Voice, Fireweaver and Small and Chewy. Last time on the last episode we talked about cancelled shows, animal robot sex and Greek smurfs. It was real fun. <laughs> okay. Um, that was a slightly unexpected intro. Um, indeed, we've just arrived at the village Ambrosus. And uh, we've got a couple of quests here, so I'm going to go speak to Admetus. A blacksmith of remarkable skill lives in the hills by Helicos Pass. Some say the god Hephaestus himself taught Termaris his craft. He's friendly, but he keeps to himself. If you can find him, he will sell to you at a fair price. If he likes you. <laughs> uh, since when were there Mexicans in ancient Greece? Maybe uh, he's a time traveller. It's like, it sells you at a fair price. Arriba, arriba. I can't do Mexican accents, I obviously. <laughs> I don't even think Admetus is well, a real name. There are Italians near Greeks. I can't remember my geography very well. Arriba, arriba, arriba. Well, Me Mexico's like under America, isn't it? If my geography's right. Yep. Well, um, yeah. Okay, uh, let's talk to uh, Ars I'm Ides. <laughs> or Asimides. Ars I'm Ides. <laughs> Asimides. That's what I'd say. Ars I'm dead. <laughs> so uh, let's chat to him now. I was on my way from Delphi with some goods to trade. I had just set up camp amongst some nearby ruins when I heard the rattle of bone and smelled the scent of death. I looked up and saw skeletons everywhere. They didn't seem too friendly, so I ran. As far as I'm concerned, whoever finds my goods can have them. Me. <laughs> my goods. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Hello. we picked up, what, two, two quests there? Let's have a look at the side quest here. Um, abandoned goods. And saying about uh, a blacksmith named Temerus. Cool. So Hello. I'm lazy. Can you pick up that book that's on my table? Quest completed. Thank you very much, stranger. <laughs> this is a reward for your noble quest. I don't know why I went over here. I just saw we could. Okay. I'm not going to argue it. It's stuff to kill. It's XP's. Yeah, and boars. Drop another hide. Well, that's uh, rather convenient of them. Are we going up here? Oh yeah, sure, I'll follow you. There's I'm a big camp. That. That's because they're all men there. That's why it's camp. Men in tights. Well, you know, I'm sure if there was any kind of women there, it wouldn't be called camp. Battle standard. Destroy them all. Go, my pretties. Go. Let's get a stun off here. Mm, there's another Heracles mate. Isn't that what you want, Valdex? Stolen. No. I need... Prometheus Flame, I think. I might need the might. It might be if in my bank. Have these guys got some kind of aura on them? Uh, dosed in purple. Kill the Paladin. It's a primitive chest. Don't know what makes a, a chest primitive or not. It's probably a pig's ball bag wrapped with string. To keep it closed. You think? <laughs> I thought they <laughs> yeah, used those for uh, drinking sacks. And haggis. Oh wait, no, haggis is a lamb stomach. Oh, indeed, it's. So oh, that they didn't like me doing that, did they? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I just suddenly saw like seven yeah, of them yeah. turn at me and go, "Uh, what did you just do?" <laughs> We should get deadly By boss the way, for this game. I yes. was checking old videos, and you're right, you were hitting my core dweller. 
Oh no! What yeah, is that? Oh, another quest person. You, you, you eat mice. So let's speak to you eat mice, or Eurytimus. That is my grove burning on the hill above. The sacred tree is still up there. She may be unharmed, but you'll have to get past the savage yeah, brutes to reach her. Yeah, got smoky. I just went up here a couple inches. Well, that's what ah! she said. And, uh, saying about <laughs> a couple of inches and it went smoky. That's, I'm pretty sure that's not right. This looks like the olive grove. It says we might find our uh, plant that we're after. Quick! They're smoking our weed! Grab the plants! I just picked up 666 gold. This place is cursed! Cool, let's uh, head further up. This forest is cursed! Oh. These spiders are cursed! When the joke didn't work the first time, <laughs> you have to repeat it. Yeah, I don't even know what joke he's talking about. No, nor me. I've got no idea. <laughs> oh, have we hurt your feelings now, Voldex? I'm sure there's people no. that. I'm sure there's people that get your joke. Post in the comments if you get his joke. <laughs> if you get any of his jokes, then post in the comments. Yes, <laughs> please. Okay, do. now I'm just being a bit mean. Uh, okay. Yeah, oh my spider. god! Ah. It's a spider ah. queen! She must have our loots. Kill her for the loots. Oh, she's oh, taken she's care of. And uh, I'm going to pick up this oh olive branch. Oh, Yay for us. Majestic chest. chest. Majestic chest. Whoa. Oh my god. It's, it's like this chest just threw up all over. <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> uh, what else could There's we get here? here? Make sure you all pick up your olive branch. Yeah, I've picked uh -huh. up mine. Valdex, pick up your branch. Oh. Every time I um, I click on something, so Someone it's like so it's someone's grabbed it. Oh, I want to look, look at that. There we go. And I keep grabbing white mm, items that I don't want at all. Try the spiked club, maybe you'll like it. Oh, this is a yeah, cool it's item. Um, Come on, Vodix. There's a spiked club over here. And get your branch. A club. Uh, check out that helm, uh, the Chalcedian helm that I've just thrown on the floor. Of oh Codex. wow! Thank you. This club's a lot better than the than the club I got off that ogre. Um, what? Pick up what? The Chalcedian uh, helm. Helmet. I dropped it. Uh, no, I've got. Uh, I've got that rare helm from before. This one just gives me 82 health. The helmet I currently have is a defensive hel as a defensive helmet. Ah, uh, okay. It's pretty good. Cool. Thank you. All right, well, let's head back. But yeah, damn, this uh, club that you picked up is way better than my uh, my other club, and it's faster. Cool. So at least we got that quest out of the way. Uh, still got a few more, I believe. Uh, where are we heading? This way? Don't think it's a dead end. Here I come! Uh, yeah. Here it is. Okay. 
I've got a friend that doesn't like spiders at all, right? And <laughs> he on. says that his uh, phobia... <laughs> He says that his phobia is so bad, he won't even look at a spider, even if it's like in a game or in a magazine. And I said to him, what? You should love, you know, smashing spiders in a game, you know, because it's like, ah, take that spider, I hate you, die, die, you know. You know, um, on the way up to uh, Sindragosa in Ice Crown City and World of Warcraft, sorry guys, you've got the, the room where loads of spiders drop down. Yeah. Yeah, we used to have a raid member who would refuse to do that part of the fight. Well, it's not the stupidest fear I've ever heard of. My mother, this is actually very true, my mother has a work colleague and yeah, at work, and she is afraid of watermelon. <laughs> I used to know a girl who used to be afraid of stamps. That was the best one I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> stamps. <laughs> no, wait a minute. No, it wasn't stamps. It was like stickers. Uh, it was just that stamps was part of it. Yeah, that was it. So she couldn't. She had a fear of stickers. Did her father put a million stickers all over her face? I've got no idea. Her from breathing. And threw her out into a bunch of laughing children. Ha ha ha! Sticker face. Sticker face. Yeah, I remember one time we were at a shopping centre and someone was like putting stickers on, you know, on people after they donated some money and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we kept teasing her about it and not telling her to, uh, you know, oh, you know, you should donate to the charity and stuff. I made her feel really, really guilty about like not donating money to this charity, knowing full well that if she did, they'd slap a sticker on her. <laughs> Just... Oh my god. <gasps> That's mean, dude. Yeah. But with the woman with the watermelon thing, I mean, honestly, she was like deathly afraid of watermelon. And my mother told me a story that uh, she, they were having like a like a work buffet of some sort, and my mother said, "Hey, you should try these. These are really good." And then the woman came over and started eating it. I don't know what it was, but she she actually stopped. She took one bite out of it and then like froze, like as if she was a deer in oncoming traffic. And she said, has this got melon in it? And when my mother said yes and confirmed it, she actually dropped the food item and ran screaming out the room. Let's go uh, north, go see a cave up here. Uh, yeah, one sec, okay, I got some turtles on me. Oh, I like turtles! Okay, well I brought some friends from up north. Scousers, so you should kill him fast. Kills a scouser. <laughs> I d don't and know. You were no, shooting I'm... real fast with that. I don't <laughs> have anything wrong with scousers, actually. <laughs> but Every I think it must be that hit maybe one. that battle marker. Do you want to go in the cave? Yeah, ah, yeah, birds, cool. bird. A bird? Big birds. Let's go in the cave. Birds can't. Birds can't go into the caves. Have you not heard of bats? They're not birds. They're mammals. Well, they have harpies. Wings and they fly? That makes them birds, surely. No, they're rats with wings. That's a pigeon. Oh no, wait, they're mice with wings. Does that help? <laughs> Winged mice. Is that like winged monkeys? From like... <laughs> what was it? Uh, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. You know they're remaking um, the Wizard of Oz. The same people that did um, Wonderland. They're going to do Wizard of Oz, but it's going to be like a sequel to it. They're not remaking it exactly. I, I do lie. I'm surprised they're not doing the... It is uh, a sequel. Yeah, Return to Oz, you numb nuts. Yeah. Yes. It was terrible. And there's also a prequel as well, but in musical form, uh, called Wicked. Which actually makes out that the evil witch is actually the good guy and that Dorothy's actually quite a bit of a bitch for killing her. That but sounds awesome. It's well, that doesn't really make sense. I mean, all she yeah. did was throw water on her. Yeah, but uh, 
the things that she did to Dora. I can't remember the story of it. You have to watch the show. It's actually it's quite a good show, but if you're into that kind of thing. Hmm, <laughs> these colors loop. But I mean, it's really popular. Oh, it's uh, the top show in like Broadway and 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 the West End in London. Um, so I'm, if they were going to do a film, I'm surprised they didn't do that because they did a film of like Chicago and a few of the other big Broadway stuff, right? I don't yeah. know you're into musicals. Uh, I am actually, yeah. It seems odd because it <laughs> might might make you wonder about my sexuality, but uh, no, no, uh, no, just... of course not. But no. Uh, However, um, I like I girls. I must feel a little bit emasculated. I see, like girls. See, this is the thing, right? When I grew up, my uh, my parents were into all this um, Amdram stuff or amateur dramatics, so they were, you know, pushed me into doing like all the shows with them, and I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, so you know, seeing all the musicals and things. And the good thing about it is that it's totally outnumbered, like women to to guys, because no. guys just don't do it and the only guys that did do it were gay so you had all these fit dancer type women and no competition it was fucking awesome it's one of the best times of my life <laughs> you know what that kind of reminds me of this one thing where this guy was being made fun of for doing ballet and, and this was on stage and then I think he said something like yeah okay you're making fun of me I'm the one dancing up here with all the fit girls <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. Oh, we've got, a, we've got a rough Oh, yeah, off. yeah, roughneck here. Yeah. Roughneck? This is from the deep south. It's oh, no, it's redneck. Red Shit. <laughs> I like turtles. I'm trying to remember, roughneck sounds like a character from a show. Uh, uh, before time, maybe. Um, well, it also sounds a little bit like uh, a nickname you'd give to, like, uh, an army squad or something. Yeah, we're the Roughnecks. Ringo's Roughnecks. Who are? <laughs> Ringo's <laughs> Roughnecks. <laughs> Did I say Ringo? Yeah, I said Rico. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I've, I've, my mo my mo well, I might have said Ringo because my mother's been listening to the Beatles a lot lately. I said his name's not Ringo, it's Richard. Get it right. <laughs> uh, oh, look, something up here. Let's go. Oh my god, something. Quest complete. Trying to experience. Yes, go, quill, kill everything. Get it. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. I'm I'm just gonna do like a mass pull. Wee mass pull, mass oh, pull. Fucking hell. These things are kind of pathetic. Yeah, they are now. Look, I'm ne I've nearly leveled up. Hey, ding. Cool. Although we are missing bone piles of loot and stuff, but yeah. Keep going, just mass pull. Is there anything more up north? Up north? Geordies! Oh, I think we have Can't to have some Geordies. Ah, oh, we lost the shrine of experience. So I don't know whether or not we've, we're have missing out on stuff here, but never mind. This one's a big little, uh, well, a big little, a big area. A big little. It's Contradiction, isn't it? Really, because this is a big little, <laughs> what? big little area. Oh, Yay, Prometheus is flame. flame. Yay, set three. Booyah! Now you can't put it on your blue item, but you can put it on the oh, other no. one. Yeah. Okay. Completed relic bonus plus eight percent attack speed. <gasps> Ooh. Of course, what you're going to want to do now is whenever we're in a town and you're going to switch weapons, you're going to want to remove boar that hide. relic. Hmm, I think but we can make something when we get to town. Yeah, we're not too far off, I reckon. 
Look at the path. We'll probably uh, do it at the beginning of the next video. Well, we haven't n finished some of these quests. I'm wondering where they, where they were, and what we've missed. Probably missed a diseased hooker. Uh, well, let's have a quick look. What do we? Do? We We're got the proper offering, didn't Master we? Master blacksmith. So yeah, just the blacksmith. Uh, Terminus. He lives off the road. On the on the way, he sells rare shit. So maybe you haven't got to him yet. Now he's right here. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. Well, let's go and uh, see what rare rare stuff he sells. It's probably not that rare. Is it? Oh, it is. It is quite rare. Well, I'm just gonna. Whilst you're looking at loot, we'll kill off the rest of the beast here. <laughs> Alright, let's see, what's he got? Well, I don't get many visitors. Wow. Greetings, how nice can mesh. I help you? Um Yeah the the, the stage it got are rubbish. It's got really good maces. Ooh. So why is it rare? I don't I don't understand. All I'm oh, there's a a green hatchet. Oh, it's yellow. What and a a green Sword, but it mostly it's ye yellow. It's not that rare. And it's not exciting at all, really. So, so he nice has rings. a lot of dies. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, great. Quick, change the colour of my tunics. <laughs> Let's check these scrolls out. There's a nice necklace there. Scroll of the Storm Witches. Summons a pair of powerful witches. Using fierce lightning attacks, these beasts devastate enemies oh. from a distance. I'm gonna get the purple die. That looks quite funny. <laughs> it's expensive though. Three and I'm gonna get the slate die. Oh, there's too much stuff here. It's like kid in the candy shop. Well. I'm not really uh, Hi. seeing too much of uh, interest in there for me, and I know there's we're uh, heading up to a new town anyway, so... There's a rare ring called the Ring of Fire, plus 9% hmm? fire damage, plus It might actually be a while damage. before we reach a town. Yeah. yeah. Oh, then in which case I might sell some of this stuff in my inventory. Oh, I'll keep that when I get enough... Oh no, it's rubbish again. I think this is why this guy exists. Well, just to sell. Piss you off. Yeah. Because uh, to be honest, I'm wearing good equipment. It's just. Cause when I change those wraps. That's a really nice ring, actually. It's just plus nine percent fire damage. Oh well. And fire damage. Uh. Anyway, let's. Let's not waste time at this guy. Let's do some interesting stuff. Uh, yeah, actually, you're right. Uh, I'm just gonna sell this bow and this staff, and we'll be on our yeah. way. Goodbye now. Yeah, we can always come back to him later. There's killing to be done. Okay, yeah, let's push on really? with the next checkpoint. What? I just got a tutorial on how to spend my skill points. What the hell? Screw oh, you. <laughs> yeah, disable the tooltips. For some reason they turned itself back on again, obviously. Oh, I love my stunning AoE. Such a big help. Let's pick up that and that. Oh, rushing down. Yeah, I heard that hey, uh, this? flask jingle past me. Hey, don't run off. Sorry, I found a shrine. I mean, a well, not a shrine, a resurrection pond. Ah, okay, good. Okay, well, uh, let's finish off this camp. Finish them. Grab that loop. 
Okay, well, uh, yeah, I think we've uh, got quite far on this uh, uh, episode. So, uh, yeah, on the next episode of Let's Play Titan Quest, uh, we'll continue onwards. And uh, I have a feeling we're getting pretty close to uh, our destination now. Uh, we've got the only thing left in my books here, by the looks of it, is just to hand in this offering to the Oracle of Delphi. So that must be next on our agenda. So next episode, we'll see you then.